Hey everybody, my name is Kevin. I want to come back for another video of NHL 22 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series. In the last video, we went ahead and uh, or simulated the second half of the season. Uh, ended up being pretty disappointing. We had one good simulation, I guess, of 10 games. And afterwards, it pretty much went to shit. So, uh, not good at all. We did not make it to the playoffs. The Panthers ended up winning the cup. Uh, it's unfortunate because... My players started to do good overall. I feel like we were having something right there. But uh, overall, pretty disappointing year for everybody. Uh, we, although towards the trade, via the trade, we did get two big time prospects playing for the first line at least towards the end of it. So we still got some stuff, I guess, in exchange for all of that. And now we're gonna we're coming up to the free agency and everything. feel like uh, everything's going to turn around, boys. If I can find some good players, I'll go for them. And uh, I'll turn my team around, no worries about them. So let's just go to the contracts first. Uh, first thing I do notice, I, I went ahead and looked up at my coach, right? He did resign for us. Uh, first thing I want to tell you guys is my coach is an offensive coach. So he's just like me, exactly how I wanted to build my team. This is why I was going for snipers, playmakers, power forwards. That's because two or fours has no space for that. Uh, there's no space for that type of player. The same, uh, same thing for the defensive defensemen. No areas of expertise for these guys for a coach like that. Uh, they want they, you. We need we need them to have offense all the way. Now, uh, Wenberg right away, straight away, we're gonna get rid of Wenberg. He's 83 overall. He, everybody pretty much dropped off, boys. You're gonna see in a minute. He's 83 overall, so we're not gonna keep him. Now, we already have two options right here. We're going to buy one of them out. I want to get more of a, a typical uh, type of minor league team. So we want to have in the 70s instead of uh, an 80 player playing in there. So there's still Johansson available. I feel like Johansson is still going to be uh, an 80 overall. Nick Paul pretty much the same. Power forward. Uh, Nick, uh, play, so I think Nick Paul would be a better one. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy out uh, Marcus Johansson. We're going to buy him out. There we go, boys. Next up, uh, Ryan Strom. Do we want to keep him or not? Here comes the part where I think we wa might want to keep him. Because he didn't drop where he didn't drop as much. And uh, he's still pretty valuable to us. The coach really loves him. He likes him quite a lot. So uh, that's good in of itself. So there's not much to worry about that, right? He's got some good offensive skills, better than defensive. I mean, he's good enough. He's good enough. And I think he's, he, we definitely have some space for him as a fourth liner. Definitely, boy. So uh, definitely get him for the five years. Sure. Get him for the five years. Exactly the same, the, the, the exact amount of contract that he wants. We are going to need a center. That's uh, for sure. So we're definitely going to need a center in there for our main uh, team. We got Rodriguez right here. He's a playmaker. Uh, we sure. I guess we can get. We can uh, keep him. Uh, keep him around. I guess so. Give him uh, uh, the big time contract. I guess for the three year deal. And what about Kelman right there? Do we want to keep him? Playmaker as well. We might as well keep him, boys. We don't have too many other options right here. So. Or go reassign him. And what about Henman? 69 overall, top 9 player. Absolutely not release him. And we're going to need, I guess, two more centers for the, for the minors, I guess. All right, so there we go. Left wing position now. This is where we're going to buy out somebody as well. We've got Tanev in there. Uh, and we still got Timishov. I think Timishov, uh, time to buy him out, boys. And same thing for Tanev, we're buying him out because we already have, remember, we have uh, in the center position, we have Nick Paul, who's going to be our depth player. So we got one, two, three players already uh, still stuck with them for a couple of years. Still stuck with a Palat and stuff like that, which he's dropping off quite, uh, quite rapidly. Uh, and uh, Machizny, though, we do have him. We have a Machizny on the lineup, so... We're going to get rid of a Palat. Uh, Palat, definitely get rid of him. Now, we're retaining a lot of salary because, obviously, uh, we've got uh, all these buyouts that we need to do. 
But uh, we got rid of uh, of Palat. I think he was dropping off quite rapidly. We can keep the two other ones. I think keeping Olufsen and uh, Yarnkrok is going to be fine as it is. I think right. Def yeah, I, I got to keep him. I uh, keep them at this. At least them. Let's sign up uh, Machisney. Obviously, we're going to sign him up. He's going to be on our lineup. We are going to need a center. Uh, that's uh, for sure. So uh, not a... We are going to need a left winger, so that's for sure. So one left winger for the team. For the minors, let's see. We already have two minor league players. Uh, and we've got another option. So we don't have a choice but to sign Alexandrov. His contract is due. We have to sign him. So let's do that. So that's three players uh, for the minors. And uh, we need another one. I am not going to sign Montador nor Kostopoulos. I'm going to let them grow into the minors. Let them grow... Uh, Properly like uh, it did with Machisney. So we're going to need an actual minor player for the uh, a the AHL, I guess. An actual left winger for the AHL. Right winger position now. What do we got? So what we have right here is we're definitely going to need a right winger right off the bat. I can already tell we need one. Uh, for the right wing position, Mulgan is 80 overall. It's going to be rough to play with any overall boys top 9 player. We don't even know if he's going to be good or not. Let's buy him out because we don't know if we can really trust him or not. So what we're going to do, we're going to have Poli Arvey and Rackle. We're keeping them. We're going to need two uh, winners for the right wing position. And for the minors, we are going to need, hold on, we got one, two, three, and we got four. We already have four players. Grabner is now an AHL top 6, so that's fine. Uh, Kusi, we're going to let him grow in there. We're going to let him grow until his potential goes all the way up or something. Uh, he's already a 75 overall. He's going to be in the, in the uh, mid-80s probably uh, at the end of the season. So that's good in of itself. So uh, that's good in it, as itself. So we already have all the right wingers for the minors. So that's uh, we don't need any minor players. We got the defenseman wise now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm definitely going to get rid of Giordano. Oh, okay. I pressed the wrong button. So I skipped the day by uh, by accident. Let me, hold on. All right. So Reinstrom's back. Rodriguez. Yes, everybody decided to come back. So that's good. Yeah, all right. So I don't want to press the wrong button right here. Let's release Giordano. We don't need them. Uh, Kulakov. Uh, is he a good defenseman? Yes. So he is going to be our depth defenseman. We already have all these guys right here. Sign now for long term. Letan went from an 88 and within one year went from an 88 to an 82 overall. So that's great. Letan is already just an 82. That's really rough, but we're, we're stuck with him, boys. And what about uh, the other one? So we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. And this is our seventh defenseman. We're already stuck with what we got as defense. I don't know what to do. I mean, Brent Burns is pretty much much more dangerous to have around than a, a Christopher Lerta, which I think is better. Or maybe not, actually. It says Brent Burns is, might be better. And Brent Burns only have one year de uh, left. Yeah. Let's get rid of Lerta, boys. We're getting rid of, we're buying out Lerta. So just so we can get ourselves at least a good defenseman. I know there's going to be a good one in there. So at least get a defenseman. For the minors, let's see what we got. All right, so we got five defensemen. We just need one more. I think we, just, we can just simply re-sign Carrick. No problem on that one. So just re-sign Carrick for that deal, the minor league deal. And uh, we're fine with that. And for the goalies, last but not least, this is where we end it. So Drieger is going to be released. We're going to keep Rask as the backup, get rid of Comrie, uh, buy him out. So get Rask as the backup, and uh, we do not want to get Vendeveld. It's not going to be good enough. We're going to get ourselves a goaltender for the league itself, and we're also going to need a minor goaltender as well, uh, one for the AHL. So I think that's pretty much everyone. We have uh, covered pretty much everyone in here, boys, so... Let's go ahead and skip until everybody's re-signed. I think everybody's re-signed, boys. I think everything's cool. Everything's good. So here we are. We're into the free agency now, boys. So here comes the first thing we want to do. Obviously, is take a look at the coaches. We need an associate and an assistant coach. That's what we need. We need both of those. 
So let's take a look really quick at our options. Uh, I am, I do want to look, uh, we got uh, like three uh, A's right there. So three good, uh, good time players, but I want to see right here, Jason Spezza and Dustin Brown, both are B minuses. Both could be good, uh, good uh, types, I guess. 59 though, he's an offense coach. I, I do want to get like a Spezza. Why not? Let's get Spezza in there. NHL associate coach. Yes. I do want that. That's the money he wants. I'll give him a little bit more. Just because I want to make sure that he does sign for us. So definitely going to give him more boys that uh, he wants. So maximum uh, deal. And for Dustin Brown as well. My guy, come in. Uh, come in towards us. And you're going to be an assistant coach. So I'm going to have to give him a lot more money. There we go. The maximum amount of money for him as well as an assistant coach. Hopefully they both accept. If they don't, it is what it is. But at least we uh, we will have tried. So what our options this year for the free agency, uh, there is a lot of options. Already for the center position, we've got Matthews or Ao that we can pick up. Uh, let me just make sure that everything's like that. There we go. We got a lot of stuff. We we have Ryan Strom's brother, Dylan. We got Dylan Strom in there, a younger brother, uh, available. But we are going to go for either uh, Sebastian Ayo or Matthews. Now, Matthews is a franchise player. Uh, Matthews much better. He's the best scorer of the league, boys. Last year's best scorer. I don't know why, uh, I guess, Toronto got rid of him. I don't know why and how. What type of stupid shit, uh, what type of stupid thing could it possibly mean, Does that mean? I don't know, boys, but uh, for our coach, it, it says he would be fit for second line. What about this guy? First line. Okay, much better. He doesn't fit any of, a scheme, of our scheme, though, for AO. Matthews does fit some. And AO is a two-way forward, so that's what I'm saying. We need a, an offensive player, so... We'll definitely sign in Matthews, and this time I'm making sure we get him, boys. He wants a seven-year deal. Can't give him that. I'll give him the four-year deal until he's 33, I guess. So at 33 is when they start dropping. 33, that's what it would put him at, right? Because that's 30, 31, 32, 33. Yeah, seven-year deal. Yeah, let's give him the seven-year deal he wants. And on top of that, we'll give him four million, all right? We'll, uh, we'll give him, you know what, we'll give him all the money in the world because we want to make sure he comes, uh, he does sign with us, boys. And you did tell me in the comments you wanted me to do that, so we'll do that. We'll do it. 16 million, seven year deal. All right. He'll, we'll make sure he signs for us. We're not going to miss out on him, on like Mekinen and stuff like that. So now we need two minor players. Let's take a look at what we got as an option for the two minor players. We're not going to spend too much time on that. We, we do have Eric Stahl. I mean, he's available. He's there. He's an option. Uh, Two-way forward, though. So, is he... Uh, well, he has some scheme. He is a, f a player that could play for my team. Uh, could play for the coach. All right, so I found my first one. I guess Letary. Vinny Letary, boys. It's going to be our first one. Uh, let's just give him the maximum amount of, uh, of deal. Three-year deal. And uh, we uh, we just have to find now an another one uh, of them, I guess. Not sure where we're gonna find that. Oh, there it is. There's one of them, a sniper right there, uh, HL top six Caro. But let's sign him up. Let's sign him up right here, three year deal, buddy. And you're gonna be in. Next up, left winger. We need one left winger. Once again, good option right there, Teravinen playmaker. Same thing for Mashaso. In the same league, so I don't know which one of them would be better. Mashoso is 33 years of age, though, so he's going to drop. Turvinen's got a couple of years ahead of him still. And let's say the durability, yeah. So Turvinen's much better. We're going to pick him up. And we want him for, obviously, a seven-year deal we want him. So uh, we're going to give him the maximum amount of money possible, boys, that we can give him. Just to make sure he, uh, he signs for us. There we go, 16.3 million as well. So he's going to definitely sign with us with that contract. We need a minor league player right here. So let's find out once again who do you want to go for. There's already a sniper available, Zvechnikov. Of course, let's go for him, boys. Going to be a good option right here. 
So Svechnikov, we want him for, I guess, the three-year deal, regular three-year deal at 9.35. And there it is. So that's pretty good. Now, right winger position, we need two right wingers, boys, for the uh, for the actual uh, team. We got a couple of options. Don Vertrano, Radulov, Zvilver, uh, Silverberg, Toffoli, and uh, Besser. I'm definitely going to go for Besser. Definitely a good option right here. So let's go uh, for Brock Besser already. We're going to sign him. He's going to be at 36 year, four years of age. So let's put him at 33. What I want to do is six year deal instead. And uh, we'll make sure he signs for us. So let's give him uh, the six million, 16 million as well. There we go. 16.3 boys, just like the other ones. The Foley, Silverberg, and Radulov or Vetrano. Now here comes the part where I got to choose. It's either between Radulov or Toffoli next. So who's got who's the best one available, really? Who would score the most goals for me or would produce the most? We've got durability 90 for uh, Toffoli and 74 for Radulov. So uh, Toffoli, much better player. We'll uh, pick him up. I guess, yes, we definitely want him for like a, a one-year deal, maybe. Because we don't know how much he's going to drop off or anything. So we, we just want him for one year deal. It's, he won't be there for too long. We'll give him plus 2 million. So we'll give him uh, 10.5. Definitely going to accept that contract. That's the uh, that's good enough on its own. So there it is. Next up. Uh, we don't need any uh, extra winners for the miners or anything. So defense wise. We do need a defenseman. This is where it comes tricky. I did get rid of one of my defensemen. Because uh, I wanted to see if there's gonna, there was going to be any options. It doesn't seem like it's the case. So since it's not the case, we don't have any interesting defensemen. I'll just pick up uh, one that looks interesting to me, boys. There is this Grizzly guy. Uh, people are going to be on him, though. Uh, I just want to see who's got the best durability, really. It seems like Devin Taze is the one that's got the best or the, or the biggest amount of durability in the entire uh, ratio of defensemen we got as an option. I mean, I could try and get uh, Latin or Giordano back, but that's just not gonna happen. It's gonna cost. It would cost a lot of money for a, a Chris Latin to just stay with us. So I'm not gonna do that. Giordano, same thing, kind of. They're both too old, really. I want a defenseman that's still gonna have a couple of years that he's gonna be able to play for us. Unless I really want to go for a veteran, big time veteran or anything, but they're gonna drop off. So I much prefer having somebody that can like make sure that he stays with us. So let's get this two-way defenseman, uh, Jonathan Tay uh, or Devin Taze. Is he any good for a scheme? Yes, he's pretty good. So let's get him. Uh, we're gonna give him a three-year deal. Yes, exactly what he wants, and uh, he's come. He's got competition right now. We got competition uh, against uh, the uh, LA Kings, but since we're giving him the uh, the amount of years he wants, we can definitely afford to not like overpay him or anything. So six million should be enough. Goaltender wise, finally, we do need a main starter, and that seems perfect as it is. We got Samsonov, Blackwood, Verlamov, Fleury, or Nedel Chovetch boys as an option. I'm a, I'm interesting uh, interested in Fleury. That's for sure. Would be an interesting option, but he would be there for like a year or something. And uh, it's not like it would be a transitional goaltender, and we can't have that. We need an actual goaltender right now. Transitional goaltenders, we don't have a space for those uh, we, because we don't have any big time player uh, goalie prospects coming in. So I guess Samsonov is the key right here. I think he's the one we were gonna want to. Uh, go for right here. Definitely. Let's go for a Samsonov boys. Let's hope that he's good enough. Give him the six-year deal. So it's at 33 years of age. Yeah, 8.925. Uh, he should accept. We should be all right with that. Uh, minor, uh, uh, the miners though. We do need a goalies for the miners. Elliot. Now we can definitely pick up anybody we want. So let's give a chance to uh, uh, Elliot boys. You can come back a little bit. So one year deal for you, buddy. Or you know what? Pfft, whatever, I guess. Three year deal. You can stay however long you want. You're in the minors anyways. So uh, that's pretty much that. Let's see if, uh, if we get everyone that we needed. So we got Spezza. Spezza definitely decided to uh, join us. That's pretty good. 
Uh, so we got Jason Spitz as our coach, boys. And uh, did we get Dustin Brown? We got it. So we bought, we got both of them as our coaches, boys. That's really good. And uh, let's see really quick. So Devin Taze is with us. Good. We got uh, Carol, Brian Elliott. Elliot. There we go. Svechnikov, Letary. And uh, I'm just looking right now. I'm just waiting on the big ones. So I want to make sure that the big ones sign with us. For 16 million uh, deals, I mean, they got to accept at some point. So let's see really quick. Tara Vinen, there we go. Ex he accepted, boys, so he's with us. We got Toffoli, Matthews, there we go. Besser, Samsonov as well. There it is. So we got all of them. All of them went into, uh, into uh, to our team. So our team is much more upgraded, much better than last year, boys. Already, we can make, uh, we can see the difference. Let's jump into the next season. Now we got everyone. All right, we're at the preseason. We're going to do the same thing as we usually do. We're going to look at our roster moves. Uh, figure out who's uh, who's who. So Malkin dropped to an 84. So he's going to be playing on actual fourth line. I thought it was going to be Ryan Strom on the fourth. But I guess it's going to be Malkin, boys. Uh, unfortunately for him. Now, the, thing, uh, the fact that Matthews actually grew to an even higher uh, tier. To an 80, 95. And uh, that's what... That's going to... Big time prevent New Hope from playing on the first line, but that's okay. He's still going to be playing on the second line, boys. Still going to be able to draw, uh, grow quite nicely. We don't have anybody in the minors that we need to deal with. In the my in the main league, we got Teravinen, Jan Kroc, Olofsson, Machizny at 83 overall. So he's still growing off. Uh, he hasn't played a single game in the NHL. He's already 83, boys. That's really good. Uh, we've got the right wing position, Besser, Toffoli, Poliarvi, and Rackle. Good. That's pretty much it. Defense, Dumbach, Shillington, Taze, Yendel, Fleury, Burns, and Kolikov. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, we got uh, everybody in there. And for the goalies, the goalies, we got Samsonov and Rask, which drop, we, who dropped to an 82 overall. So. Uh, that's uh, that, boy. So it looks like everybody's good for the uh, rest of the moves. Time for me to edit the line uh, lineups. All right, boys, here goes nothing. Here goes the lineups right here. So that's what it's going to look like for this year. It's going to look like uh, Tara Vinen, Matthews, and Besser playing together. And look at that line. Plus five overall. That's a lot. That's a big bonus right there. Big bonus is going to help us out a lot. Uh, it's pretty much bringing up Matthews to 100 overall, which is crazy. He's going to produce like crazy on that. Toffoli, Newhook, and Strom, pretty much uh, a top three overall. They're really clicking out to each, uh, together. Machizny, Rackle, and Pugliarvi together. Young Kroc, Malkin, and Lal Olsen on the, uh, on the fourth line. We're going to have Devin Taze, Dumba, uh, Shinnington, Yendo, Flurgin, and Burns. So, a bunch of veterans in the defense. That's pretty much our weak spot is the defense, boys. Uh, goaltender, though, we do have Samsonov this year round, though. So we got a better goaltender. And uh, that's pretty much that. If you want to look maybe at the HL really quick, though, uh, we can definitely do that. So we got Yaskin and everything. Rodriguez, nothing crazy. Alexandrov, our prox prospect right here, low elite. He's playing on the fourth line, so I don't have any other space for him, really. So that's pretty much that. Uh, and that's pretty much it. We don't really want to change anything. I think our strategies themselves are going to be fine as it is. Let's take a look at captains and jerseys. We still have Rackle as one of our assistants. Not at all anymore. I'm going to put Besser in there. Uh, we want, uh, I guess, Matthews. Yeah. So Malkin's still our captain. I'll keep Malkin as the captain. Matthews can be our assist. And uh, instead of Besser, I'll put the, the A on Machisney big time. Yeah, I think Machisney deserves it, boy. So uh, let's uh, find out. Let's go into this uh, regular season sim all the way to the regular season, boys. We don't want to waste any time whatsoever. We'll, f we'll see how the regular uh, preseason went. Uh, before uh, starting the regular season itself. All right, so it's done, boys. Let's take a look at how it went. For the quick time simulation. So that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. With the Oilers, that's 5, 1, 5, 2. Okay, so 5 wins and 2 losses only. 
pretty good record for the preseason. Now it's only the preseason, it's not the regular one. We'll see how the regular season actually goes, boys. Let's start it up right away with our brand new roster. Bunch of the brand new first line, I should say. Uh, plus five overall first line. Hopefully it's going to help us out. Ma Matthews with Besser and Teravainen on the first line. That's going to be a star ass line. And plus we also got Toffoli and all these guys. But we have the main guy I'm going to be uh, keeping an eye on is Machisny. Seen him grow throughout the years, boys. And now he's finally ready to play in the NHL. Let's see how he does. How he's going to fare in the third line. So first game against the Calgary Flames. It's a big win. 2-0 uh, win right there. So that's a shoot, shout out win right away. Right off the bat. Uh, for our, goal to, uh, our new goaltender, Samson. Now, that's going to be a big time loss though against Vancouver. Uh, not too good. We want to do better than that. Other thing I'll, as well that I want to, uh, as we're going to keep simulating. Oh, that's another regulation loss. Uh, hold on. Uh, how about uh, against the um, St. Louis Sharks? Connor Carrick is injured? Okay, no, I guess uh, it was a minor injury. There we go. Okay, so the St. Louis Sharks, that was a win. All right, so we're going to get uh, harassed by a bunch of different trade offers and stuff. Oh, there we go. There's a win against the Pittsburgh Penguins. That's what I want to see. So one thing I wanted to say, boys, is I'm going to give myself a five-year uh, deal, basically, for the contract. So I've got basically five years at first to win the cup. If I don't win the cup within five years, I'm out. The, 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 uh, the series is over. All right, so but if I win the cup at least once so i basically have two years left because this is this year and the next year if i don't win it within those two years the cup i'm out if i win it at least once i can maybe i'll uh resign myself for maybe two years or something like that every time we'll see boys but uh allows and then a, a shout out win so that's good there's a, a shootout win in the against the vegas golden knights so we're doing decent right now. It looks like we're doing okay. Uh, we got uh, a loss against Detroit, which is not good. Detroit's supposed to be a garbage team. Boston, did we win against them? We did. So we did end up winning against Boston. So first 10 games, 6 and 4. Could be better. Could be worse. All right. It's, it's good enough. It's definitely good enough. I was expecting a little bit more, though, for the first line uh, from our first line. So... Let's hope that we do better, boys. Let's take a look at our goals for per game. The Oilers are the ones scoring the most goals. Four goals per game. Damn. We are doing good, though. We're doing decent enough. And we're kind of in the middle for both of those. So I feel like we're doing fine. Uh, power play. Our power play is okay, I guess. And the penalty kill is fine as it is. I don't feel like we need to change anything. Just going to make sure that our lineups are fine as it is as well, are okay. Uh, let me take a look really quick. It seems like they're doing okay. I mean, it's a plus five. That's why I don't want to change it because it's a plus five. The uh, thing is, it's like it's two snipers playing together. That's always dangerous, uh, dangerous combination. But, uh, you know, it could be worse. Could be worse. So they're actually doing good. I'm okay with that. Now let's continue the simulation. Up against Matthews' last team, former team, E1. There we go. We won, boys. There's a win against Ottawa as well. So, Battle of Ontario. Uh, we won it. There we go. It looks like uh, our voyage to uh, to uh, to Canada is, go uh, is going very well right now. We're winning all of our games, including the one, or maybe, okay, maybe not, excluding the one in Edmonton, which we lost, but in shootout. So, we still got a point out of that. Let's see really quick against the Islanders. That's going to be a regulation loss. Unfortunate. Against the uh, Ottawa Senators. How did we lose against a garbage team like that? I don't know. Uh, the New York Rangers. Pretty de decent team. And we won against them. So that's good. Uh, Blackhawks. Can we win against them? That's going to be a regulation loss. And the Arizona Coyotes. Pretty garbage team. And we still lost anyways. Last record of simulation, 5-4-1, and one, so a little bit worse. We're actually doing worse. Uh, we don't want to do worse. We're trending down, it looks like, and I don't want to see that, boys. I do not want to see that. I want to see some good stuff. It looks like we're producing more. We're doing more offense, but we're giving up more goals, so not good. Uh, power play-wise, 
I think like her power play is okay, and the penalty kill is the like the best in the league probably. So we got the best penalty kill. Our power play could be doing better, but I feel like we're doing fine as it is. I think just need to edit the strategies just a tad, boys. It's our defense that's struggling. So let's bring it up a notch. Contain the puck instead, all right? We're going to keep it at, uh, since we're doing 1-3-1, one, one, we're going to keep it at uh, a trap instead. So we're trying to trap it up. A defensive pressure. Collapse. Uh, we're going to keep it aggressive. I think aggressive is working fine for us. And 1-2-2 uh, two, two aggressive. Four check and stuff like that. So I think uh, we're going to keep it like that. Let's keep it moving for another uh, 10 games of simulation real quick. We're going fast, boys. 9-4 to four, uh, win for us. That's what I want to see, boys. Now, y uh, Yaskin, minor injury for him, so we don't need to worry about that. All right. Vegas Golden Knights, can we win against them? Hold on. We've got them trade offers. There we go. So we did win against them. That's good. Let's continue, boys. Dallas Stars, another win. There we go. Oh, Matthews is getting a lot of points all of a sudden. You can see the points moving down, moving up quite uh, rapidly. Yeah. Now he's producing, so... Just a minor change I did to the defense uh, play, uh, defensive play, and all of a sudden the first line is popping up, boys. Look at all these uh, games. So the Carolina Hurricanes are going to beat us uh, for a rare amount of time in this season. We did beat the Winnipeg Jets, though. Can we beat the Panthers? We sure did. Now we're scoring a lot of goals. We're definitely scoring a lot of goals, and I like to see that. Philadelphia Flyers, that's going to be a loss. And finally, Against Washington, that's going to be a win. All right, so good. Uh, last record, boys, 8-2. and two. You can see with the new roster, obviously I got much better team. My first uh, line is uh, is OP pretty much. I, I think we're doing uh, pretty good. We're in the second spot right here. Let's see if uh, anything went down or up in terms of our stats. Goals 4 per game. We are now the best goal scoring team. Good. Goals against, we are still kind of giving up a little bit too many goals, though. And uh, power play is doing better, much better. Penalty kill is going down a little bit, but I can get it. I, I can get behind that. And since we got a really good uh, simulation, I'm not going to change anything. Uh, so I don't think there's much more we can do. I'm going to go simply to the strategies. I'm not going to edit anything except for the amount of shots that my team is taking so i want them to make sure i want to make sure that they're taking shots so it seems like it is the case uh efficiency and everything okay so my team was already taking shots it looks like so i don't need to change anything then uh let's just keep it going for the for another 10 games there's an overtime loss that's at least an extra point against pittsburgh there's a win against buffalo Vancouver, can we win against them, please? Uh, they're a pretty good team, actually, but we did end up winning against them, so that's good. Uh, they are part of our this, the same division as us. That's why it's important to win against them. Nashville, that's going to be a loss. A big time, uh, big time game against uh, Vancouver once again. We end up losing this one, overtime loss. So this is a, it seems like it might be a much tougher. Uh, yeah, simulation that the previous one. We're actually losing games quite a bit right there. There's finally a win, a shootout win against uh, Colorado. Uh, we got another win, the second win in a row. There we go against Arizona. The Capitals, uh, there we go. There's another win. So I want to see that. And finally, against the Minnesota Wild, another win. All right, so we uh, bounced back up from that one. It seems like we were starting pretty bad, but we came, uh, we came back around, so... Now we have 6-2-2 two and two for the last record. 57 points, 22 games, uh, goals, and 40 games uh, played for Austin Matthews. He's having a fantastic season, boys. Don't think he's going to have the Maurice uh, Richard trophy this time around. But he's definitely in contention for the uh, best player of the year once again. Uh, so let's see what we got. Where are we at? Man, the orders are popping up. The Oilers are definitely having a fantastic season so far, boys. They uh, are well above us, even though we are doing very good. So it tells you how much competi uh, competition we got in our own division. All right. Well, that's pretty much it. We're half the season done now. Half the season done, boys. And uh, 
it's pretty scary to think that uh, we're not even secured at all with uh, even if, if we did pretty good so goals for per game still pretty good goals against trending up that's really good uh, so we're giving less goals now I like to see that and we're power plays going up penalty kill keeps trending down though we're still in the top tier but it keeps trending down which is kind of weird but let's keep it going I guess we're uh, we're doing all right right now uh, Rodriguez got injured in the minors we got to replace him with uh, anybody really who do we have we have Dal Cole as a left winger so that's that I guess let's see if he's any good 85 of durability yeah we can keep him in there I guess in the first line why not we did end up winning against the Detroit Reading Red Wings good can we win against the Central Sharks we can LA Kings hold on that's gonna be another W so shootout win and overtime win back to back uh, really good it seems like we're uh, really doing fantastic right now Caro I feel like I could get rid of Caro actually and get back a uh, Rodriguez in there yeah th that would be uh, much better it would make a lot more sense boys so let's back get back uh, Rodriguez into the minor uh, the first line right there all right let's keep it going against Columbus let's see uh, that's gonna be a last or regulation last three nothing against Columbus unfortunately uh, Toronto Go ahead, Matthews. Go and do your thing. I guess not. He did get two points, but we lost against them. All right. So we're going up against the New Jersey Devils. That's a regulation loss again. Uh, and another shootout loss this time around against the Islanders. It seems like when we start losing, like we lose for for uh, for real. Like we lose a couple of games in a row. Because after that, we uh, we just start winning again. Uh, look at that so there's we just keep uh, winning against so that's two wins in a row finally but not least against the Montreal Canadiens pretty good season for them Does, it won't matter because we beat them five to three so the last record the last 10 games six three and one so once again pretty much the same as the last one except we got one more regulation loss so it's kind of a downgrade a little bit even still our team is doing good. We haven't got a single uh, bad simulation so far this year. So that's a that's some really good news. Uh, we still are well below the Oilers, which are first in division. And we, like we have, a, we're having a really good season. It's just the Oilers is just one of those seasons for them. Uh, I already have my pres had my President's Trophy for the second year, so I mean I'm not really looking to have it. I'm much more focusing on making the playoffs and actually winning the big cup. That's all I want I want right now, boys. So um, let's keep it going. I'm just going to keep looking at the stats once again. I mean, uh, it is part of the process, really. Every time to look at it. Yeah, everything seems to be doing better and better. Uh, seems like uh, nothing changed for the goals against, though. Penalty kill is really trending down quite a bit. Uh, we need to change that. I don't have a choice here. I, I, I have to change my penalty kill because it seems like it's not working yet, uh, working at all right now. So we are just going to end up, I think we're going to end up changing it to maybe passive box. We'll change it to from large uh, to passive box and see if that works out for us or not. So let's simulate the la next 10 games, boys, until the uh, trade deadline. So there's two wins in a row. I like to see that. I want to keep the. I want to keep seeing that at, at all cost. Uh, Matthews keep getting points, my guy. I, I like that. Brent Burns is injured, so we're gonna have to replace him for a couple of days. Kulikov's coming in there. There we go, replacing. And I already saw it. Uh, Yendel is now 79 overall. Unfortunate. He dropped to a lower tier uh, of player. Uh, against the Pender, uh, Florida Panthers, that's going to be a shootout last. The Vegas Golden Knights, a 5 to nothing win right there. Seems like Samsonov is really having a good time this year. He's having a, a good season. We are getting shout out, shouted out sometime, but uh, most of the times it's us doing, the, uh, doing it to the opponent. So against the Montreal Canadiens, that's three regulation losses in a row. Uh, four regulation losses in a row. Yeah, all right. It's time Brent Burns comes back because... Oh, we're struggling right here, yeah. Ever since Brent Burns got injured, boys, and we put Kulikov in there, we started losing four games in a row in regulation. 
which gives us a four, five, uh, four, five, and one record. Not good, and that's probably gonna hurt us quite a lot. Yeah, now we reach up to third place. I think we might. I don't want to talk too uh, too quick or too soon, but we might make it to the playoffs. I think we're gonna be fine, but let's just make sure that uh, it is gonna be the case. So for that, I want to look at my team first. My first line is doing fantastic, boys. They all have more points than games. Obviously, Matthews is the best one by far so far. 80 points already. It's 60 games played. Uh, like I said, he's not going to get the 50 goals this year, but he's like getting a lot of assists and stuff. And Besser is in there uh, as well, doing his thing. Toffoli doing his thing with uh, New Hook and Strong. It doesn't seem like... It doesn't seem like that first line is really popping up that much. I think I, I should probably switch out Strom and Rackle though. Because Rackle is a right winger and Strom is a center. This entire time I played them on that line. And I probably did not realize, boys, that that was the case. So that's probably on me right there. That's a mistake by me. Uh, Ryan Strom is an 85 durability. Yeah, so I think I'll... Get it like that. Malkin dropped to an 83, so he dropped by one. Machisney is not growing. Not really having the best of seasons. Minus seven. Maybe with a new partner in Ryan Strom is going to be better. I'm not sure, uh, boys. But uh, defensive-wise, how is things going? Things seem to be going fine, I guess. Shinnington is going to need a new partner because Yendel is now... Just simply not good enough, boys. That's just how it is. And even Brent Burns dropped to a 78 overall now. So, uh, I, like I said, I've got these veterans and they're starting to drop big time. It's not a good thing, boys. So, who between Kulikov and, uh, and Fleury do I want to put in there? I think I want to put Fleury in there. There we go. And he's going to be playing in that position. Yeah, so Kiki is going to be uh, playing on the right uh, D position. So that's uh, pretty much good. So we're at the trade deadline. I feel like uh, it's time for us to end it there. What we're going to do is in the next video, uh, we're going to end up uh, going to the trade deadline, see if there's any trades we can do. We didn't do any trades this year, so we got three available just like last time. And uh, we'll see if there's anything we can do about that. Is any new players maybe we can add to the team? I doubt it. But uh, maybe we can figure, uh, uh, we can find a gem or something. So remember to do the like and subscribe to the interview. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.